I'm joined now by Phil Canella, founder of the First Senior Financial Group and host of the Crash Proof Retirement Show. Good to see you, Phil. Thanks for being here. Good evening, Carrie Lee. It is certainly my pleasure. All right, let's dig in. Is college worth it? Well, college could, college could be worth it for those that have a balanced education, and that means this. It's not just an academic education that makes someone successful in this country. I agree. Uh, Terry, Carrie Lee, you also know it's a life education that along with the balance of an academic education that will teach someone to truly be an educated person in success. Right, because think of it this way. If you, if you force uh, upon someone to think that, oh, they have to go to college, they end up going to college, but they're really not cut out for it, but they have this special talent or skill somewhere else that's overlooked, uh, you're setting them up to fail, right? Because they're going to go down a road that, that really isn't for them. You're shooting them down a highway that's not the highway for them. People are different. We're all individuals. There are those who can take up, pick up a book, read it, retain it, and then apply it. I call that someone being scholastically inclined. Uh, for me, that wasn't the way, and I think there are a lot of people like me. There are a lot of people who are creative and maybe not so scholastic or academically inclined. And there's many of examples of this. The Wright brothers finished high school, but yet they learned and, and taught us to fly. Uh, the Rockefeller, uh, Dell, Gates. Uh, Walt Disney, all these people. Yeah, the list goes go on and on. It goes on and on and on. But, and but here's, still, and here's some truly employers, what, some employers, you know, they, they see that, they want to see that check in that box. Yes, college educated. Here's to those employers that look and think that it's just a college education that's going to make someone a successful employee. What, truly what it is, is number one is integrity, believing in yourself, but most importantly, what you can get from a life education as well as a college education. You have three choices. You can succeed. You can fail or you can learn. Which one of the three do you want to eliminate? You take out fail. And, and as we're starting to run out of time here, I want to get this in. Take a listen to one college graduate that we spoke to. Uh, he graduated, I think, two and a half years ago from Temple's Film School. He now works at the Franklin Fountain selling ice cream. Listen to this. I, I wish I had taken a year off after high school to kind of like figure out what it is exactly I want to do. And then maybe I wouldn't, I wouldn't have gone to college at all. I could have gone to a trade school. I mean, there you go. You know, a lot of degrees don't have a specific and certainly not guaranteed job attached to the end of it. Well, Carol Lee, the statistics also support what that young gentleman just said. Over t only 29% of people who start out to go to college end up actually graduating and using the degree. That's 71% that attend college do not use or even finish college. Is it worth it? Not with those odds. Find out who you are, what you're good at, and pursue that. We should support people for doing that, not look down on them uh, for not going the college route. Either way, we could talk about this all day. So many interesting points uh, here. Thanks so much for coming in, Phil. Really Thank you, appreciate Carly. it. Have a good evening. Thank you.